Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my October edition of What's in My Boxy Charm, and we're gonna jump right in and get started. So, I already have my foundation and what have you on because I don't have any of those kind of products in here. So, the first thing we're gonna start out with is something I was actually excited to see in the box, which is the Dosa Colors Sassy Sienna's palette. So, I already saw these little palettes that they have. Apparently, you got one of one of the variations of the mini little palettes they have like this. But we're going to read the little pamphlet and it says it's a five pan matte eyeshadow palette with a mixture of shades. It's a great way to add boldness and vibrance to your eye looks. It retails for $32, which is hella pricey for five shades in my opinion. But I did look at these and where was I? In Ulta and had already swatched them and really liked how they look. Got a little protector guy in there. It comes with a little dual ended brush and these are what the shades look like. So I don't usually like the brushes that come in a palette. I may end up using, using them, I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and jump right in and start using these eyeshadows. And it's my hope that they're really good because they are $32, that's crazy. That's really expensive. <laughs> um, so let's get started and I'm gonna take this color Foxy in the middle and I'm gonna try to use the little brush that came with the palette and see how I like that. Let me get my mirror open and I'm just gonna dip into that. It's a really tiny tiny brush. It's more for like a detailed application I suppose. I'm just gonna place this in the crease and I'm gonna take a bigger brush and fluff it out. I'm just going to take my smudge tash <laughs> bogoshes brush, just a fluffy brush. And my dog is making all kinds of noise and I'm going to blend that out. Okay, so the next color I want to take is brassy, which is this looks more like a true sienna color. And I'm going to stamp that into the outer corner of the eye. And I'm going to use the brush that I've been using and just blend that out. The next color I want to use, I'm going to take a different brush for. I'm going to take a flat packing type brush. Let's just use, if I can find one. Let's use this Alamar Cosmetics brush. It's like a little packing brush, I don't know. And we're gonna use this color of Bossy. It's like a pinkish orange kind of color. And we're gonna put that on the first half of the eye. This particular shade has some pretty significant <sighs> fallout on it, quite a bit actually. So I really like this shade that I'm using, the bossy one. I feel like it's a little bit patchy though, if I'm being honest. It's kind of strange why it seems so patchy. I'm applying a second layer right now. And it, like I said, it does have a significant amount of fallout. I'm gonna go into this color Oh So Sassy, which is the darkest color with that same brush and I'm gonna pack that over in the outer corner where I already have that dark color and then I'm gonna blend it out. I'm gonna take a flat brush. This is just a eyeshadow brush, something like this. And I'm going to take that darkest shade and I'm gonna rim it really close to the lash line. Now I'm gonna go in with that first shade right here that we, not first shade, but what shade is this? Bossy. And I'm going to run that underneath the brown. So these have a lot of kick up. I'm having to constantly like blow the palette to get all the powder off of it because it's like 
a lot is coming up. But I'm going to take this color Oh So Sassy. And I'm going to take it on a, what is it, Stila number 2. It's kind of like a flimsy tapered blending brush. And I'm going to put that right at the top of my crease and underneath the bottom lash line also. I want something flimsy like this because I don't want to apply a huge amount of color. It's just a little bit. See what I'm talking about? If I dip into it, it just it creates so much kick up. That's a, that's a lot. I do, you know, I do have a higher expectation if it's going to be a five pan palette for $32. That's expensive to me. And I feel like this should be more affordable than this, especially if one of the shadows are patchy and if there's this much kick up and fallout. So, I mean, I don't know. I'll leave that up to you guys. But I'm going to take a blending brush one more time, just a big fluffy guy like this. And blend everything together. I mean, the colors are really pretty. I'm just kind of disappointed in how much, like, fallout and stuff there is. I'm just taking a fluffy brush and trying to knock that off my face. And I love Dose of Colors. I just feel like this shadow palette isn't the same quality as the one I already have. Like, it feels a little... Not cheaper. That's not the word. It just doesn't feel like it's as well formulated as the other. They're more powdery than, you know, a nice, creamy, buttery kind of eyeshadow. So the next product we're going to take in the box is something I was not excited about because I have gotten eyeliner almost every time. Either eyeliner or lip liner almost every time. Which I don't have so much a problem with that if it's something like different or cool or unique. But this is just a black liner. And I'm just, I kind of already have like my favorite black liner. And maybe for someone that hasn't found their go-to yet, this could be helpful. But so this is the Hollywood and Vine. Haven't heard of this brand before. Line your eyes with the rich intensity of Velvety Touch Smooth Coal Liner. The creamy formula glides on smooth and adds drama to any desired look. It retails for $7. It is just a regular, basic, wooden pencil liner. We're going to see how this pays off. Okay, well that went on easy enough. I'm just going to line my waterline and tight line. Okay, so that went on really well. It's really creamy. It's not dry or tuggy at all. I can't attest for the wear of this yet, how long it lasts, but I will try to put that in. I will wear this makeup today because I have another thing I want to do a wear test on, and then I'll put in the description box. You guys can check how these held up, but I'm glad this is under $10 because it's just a traditional wooden pencil liner, and if it holds up and is, you know, stays on for hours and hours, then that's really not a bad deal if you're looking for a black liner and I haven't heard of this brand before but maybe they have more than just a black liner available. So the next product I'm going to use is the Mellow Cosmetics uh, Tinted Brow Gel. I have Mellow products and I really like them and I have not tried this before so they gave me dark brown which clearly I don't have dark brown hair it's not what's on my profile so I hope they kind of get that organized soon as a complaint a lot of people have is that they're not coordinated enough with like what colors they're sending out. I saw a very deep complexioned lady on Instagram with her box and she had got like light brown or a light light taupey kind of color which very clearly did not match her hair and it didn't match her skin tone. I don't know if this is going to match my hair or my skin tone. It may be okay though. Achieve effortlessly tamed and tinted brows with Mellow's Tinted Brow Gel and light non- a lightweight, non-sticky gel formula with a mini brush applicator allows you to finish and maintain a perfectly groomed eyebrow with no mess. Perfect to use over powder or pencil. So uh, this is a finishing gel type thing after you've already got them done like I do myself. So this retails for $16. It's got a pretty big spoolie on it. Almost as big as a mascara spoolie. Ooh. Okay, so this is kind of dark. 
which I expect when it says that the color is dark brown. That is drastically darker than what color I have on my brows right now. So this is something I'll be curious to see how well the brows hold up. But this is like a really chocolatey brown shade. And I don't feel like... I, I mean, I put a really light application of it on. I guess I could maybe get away with this. But it's pretty dark. It's a few shades darker than what my brows are. So it just kind of gives you like a harsher look to your face, I guess. Because they're so much darker. So I don't know about that yet. So the next product is the Hank and Henry Slick With It Mascara du Duo. Slick With It Mascara will have you feeling like you have major clout. <laughs> this vegan mascara is not only waterproof, but it does not flake or transfer. Duo One applicator is designed to work with our formula for adding volume and length to your top lashes, while the other is thin and designed to work easily and add mascara to your lower lashes. So it's a dual-ended mascara, which obviously you can tell by the appearance. This retails for $19.00. So I'm going to curl my lashes because I always do that before any mascara. So if I'm going to give it a true wear test, I'm going to curl my lashes to give it a chance. So that has a lot of claims. It doesn't flake. It's waterproof. It holds put all day. We'll see. So let's look at the bottom lash. What that is a tiny, holy cow. That is the smallest mascara one I've ever seen. So we're going to do our bottom lashes. So at the end of my video, I'm going to come, not at the end of my video. After I do my wear test today, I'm going to post in the description actually the wear of all of these products. Not just the two I was talking about. I'm actually going to see how they all look at the end of the day. Because it's pretty early in the day right now. Let me zoom you in. So, I mean, this worked well enough. It's not something that I would feel like I need to have as this separate applicator for my lower lashes because I don't... That's just not something I particularly care about. This is what the top one looks like. So we're going to do the top lashes. And we're going to do what I always do, which is two coats minimum. So, if I'm being honest, I feel like this reminds me of the Great Lash Mascara from Maybelline that has the pink container and the green cap. You know what I'm talking about? Like the original one, which really just coats your lashes with a black mascara and doesn't really give you length or volume. It's just kind of there and coats your lashes. So... That's what that feels like to me. So the last product in the box is something I actually chose because you know BoxyCharm went up on their price. So did Ipsy and everything else. But uh, they went up on their price so that now one of the things you can do is they offer you two products. I don't think it's more than that. They offer you two products to choose between. And this is the one I chose because I've been seeing it nonstop on Instagram. And I was like, oh, uh, that's super cool that this is one of the choices. I want to try it. And the reason why I wanted to try it was because of this. Look at how freaking pretty that is. <laughs> I literally wanted to get this because of the aesthetic of it. Like, just look how freaking pretty that is. So, but I was looking at this, and this doesn't look full to me. Like, does this look used to you? <laughs> I don't think it's used, but it just is weird because you're not usually, you don't usually see products that are, like, not full. I guess it needs room maybe because of the shimmer of the product in it. I just thought that was kind of weird. But this says that it is the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. It's a hydrating mist that refreshes with light reflecting properties that leave the skin with Iconic's glow. This stunning multi-use spray can be used to help prep skin before applying makeup, set a finished look, or add a radiant gloss to a bare face and body. With extracts of cucumber and chamomile... Why'd I say it like that? Cucumber. <laughs> with extracts of cucumber and chamomile, antioxidants, green tea... Caffeine and vitamin E, this 100% vegan wonder spray helps to condition skin, combat the look of dark circles, and leave your skin feeling revitalized and growing. So it sounds like it has a lot of good stuff in it. It says that it is a water mist on the back of it. It says shake well for even glow. Spray 12 inches away from your face with the eyes closed. Okay, sounds simple enough. So, let's do it. Oh my gosh. 
That has a really specific smell to it. This smells like... This smells like a combination of like the L'Oreal boxed hair dye that I remember using a long time ago and perfume. <laughs> like a florally kind of perfume, but it definitely has like a little bit of a like weird... Uh, a little bit of a weird, like, I don't know, uh, hair dye smell to it. So, okay, so this apparently has sparkles in it that I see on my face now. I didn't think it was going to be like pieces or like flecks of glitter because in the container it just looks kind of, look how soothing that is, like seriously. In the container it just looks kind of like a shimmer, right? But up close it looks like really like really finely milled pieces of glitter. It's a little more like fine, fine tiny pieces of glitter than like a shimmer. It kind of reminds me of the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray, which I love, but not for all the time. It's only for certain looks I want to use that. Okay, so it feels super tacky on my face right now, so I'm hoping that dries down. I know it's supposed to be hydrating, and I don't need hydrating products, um, but So, this is the finished look that we have got with that box. And I just added a little bit of like a ColourPop lippy stick and a little bit of gloss over it. This is the shade Ziggy, just the ColourPop lippy sticks. And just a little bit of the Appeal Holographic gloss over it just to have something that kind of went with this look. But my overall thoughts is that so far, I'm going to do a wear test, like I said, and put it in the description. But my overall thoughts are that I don't love this box. <laughs> I don't love it. I feel like I'm a little disappointed, honestly. I had really high expectations for this Sassy Sienna's palette because I really felt like it was going to be awesome. And this was one of the palettes I definitely wanted when I checked them out in Ulta. And I only swatched them. And you can't really judge how something's going to turn out by just a swatch. The only reason I like to do swatches is to really feel, see what it feels like and to see what the color looks like outside of the pan because sometimes in the pan it may look a little deeper, darker, different than once you have it like swiped off on something. But I just feel like they were a little bit disappointing to me. Um, I'll wear it again of course and I just... I just had higher expectations for it. I just felt like this is too pricey for what I'm getting out of it. I feel like $32 is excessive for, I'm not going to say not a big company because they are like a higher end brand, but they're not as known as something like Too Faced or Tarte or something like that that has cheap cheaper palettes than this. It's like, I don't have any palette with these colors, which is why I wanted it, and I was really excited to get it, and I was so excited that I got this one and wanted to try it, because I wanted either this one or the Pretty Cool palette, and I'm just a little bummed out. But maybe if, I'm, I'll play with it some more and see if I can make it work with maybe different brushes, applications, but it's definitely like that color, that, what's it called, Bossy? That one definitely picks up like a lot, blending it out and it's patchy and I just, that was the one I was excited to try that shade particularly. Um, the mascara, I feel like the mascara is not great. I feel like I could have went without that. It's just, it's not awesome. It just kind of feels like the Maybelline mascara and we'll see if it doesn't flake or smudge or any of that stuff. As far as this brow gel goes, so far, it doesn't feel stiff or crunchy. It doesn't feel like it's exactly going to hold my brows in place. It does transfer. So, that is noted. It does not... Can you see that? So, if you... And I barely have any of this on. So, it does transfer, if you can see that. Why doesn't the camera pick anything up? I hate that this was kind of a negative review, but I've got to be honest with you guys. And with this, I'm just a little... I, I like this. I'm glad that I chose this. I'm just... And I can't stop looking at that. <laughs> I like this. I just wish it wasn't, like, finely milled glitter. I wish it was just, like, shimmer or something. But is that all of it? And the eyeliner so far is just... I mean, it's 
just seems like pretty decent eyeliner at this point. I wish this was a little bit better of a box, but because I was kind of excited thinking that they were going to do October like a spooky Halloween kind of box, like Halloween-ish type stuff, colors maybe. I just thought, why not? That would be like an opportune time to do that. But I guess not. <laughs> but that's all for this video. And if you guys like this, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I post every Tuesday and Thursday. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.